Netflix just like the expression, pull yourself up by your bootstraps? It seems totally innocuous and even motivational to me. Thanks, Graham. Oh, great question. Uh, here, here's why uh, a lot of socialists have a problem with pull yourself up by your bootstraps, um, which is it's a saying that usually comes from the right. And it usually comes, and it's used, it's been that saying, you know, just on its own, you know, pull yourself up. Like, yeah, you can, you know, get it done. That saying on its own, yeah, is can be motivational, but it's been weaponized usually by the right to say, we don't want to pay for any social programs. And we're saying that America's equal. Everybody's equal in America, so if you don't succeed, it's your fault. That's the underlying or what's attached to that statement more than likely in a political sense. That's why it bothers me and a lot of other people because what it's saying when I pull yourself up there, so the reason this person is poor is they didn't pull themselves up by their bootstraps. They didn't work hard enough. What if they were born in poverty? What if they had no schools, no access if you're born middle class and white and you went to decent public schools and you had a chance to go to college, well then yeah, pulling your, you you should if you work harder in that system, you're going to do all right. You're probably going to succeed. But what if you're born into abject poverty and then the cops target you for the color of your skin and then the schools you go to are horrible and college is no option for you at all? And your only way out is either to become an entertainer, a ball player, or the military, or or be in crime. You know what I mean? Like that's and that those those situations have affected you know working class and poor white people across America too. So it's really like you know that 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 sentence can be offensive to think about all the working class white people. Thanks to globalization, you know, thanks to shipping jobs overseas and NAFTA, the factories closed. There's no real work. There used to be good union work in that town 30 years ago, 40 years ago. There isn't anymore. There's an opioid epidemic. So the only jobs are minimum wage at, a, you know, fast food, Walmart, um, or join the military, or get into the criminal life. I mean, those are the options, not just in inner cities for people of color, but for working class white. I mean, the, the opioid epidemic has devastated primarily white communities. It's crushed it. And so you're going to tell somebody, just pull yourself up by your bootstraps? You know, like, look what happened the last two years thanks to the pandemic and a completely corrupt American government. So the stimulus money, most of it went to Wall Street. I've done all these videos talking about that. You know, if you were a big corporation, your PPP loan is forgivable. If you're a small business owner, it's not. Um, you had your job wiped out. You didn't get enough relief from the government. You're facing foreclosure. You're facing eviction. Um, while Wall Street made record profits, while a hundred new billionaires were created and you're told, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Wouldn't that infuriate you, right? I like the concept. I mean, just to work hard, you'll, you'll succeed. That, that sentiment is, I, I agree, it's a motivational sentiment. But when you put it in the context of this capitalist country that really does not care about working class Americans of any ethnicity, it does not give a shit about. I mean, all of these stimulus plans under Biden and Trump show you Nobody cares. I mean, I know people who their unemployment ran out in September and their work is still not back. And they're just barely getting by. So, you know, that's where the like, pull yourself up by your bootstraps is like, mm, what if you don't even have any boots <laughs> or socks? Like, what am I supposed to pull myself up with? Um, but that, that's, that's why that statement gets that reaction. Um, there's a great quote from a movie that takes place in the projects. We ain't got a future unless we can dribble a ball or wrap a rhyme. We just got left of the military. A 
imagine what a federal jobs guarantee would do for Americans. Yeah, that's part of the problem too, is it's like the richest country in the history of the world, we should have free healthcare. So first of all, that's the other thing too, if you get sick, you're screwed. Um, in free healthcare should be preventative medicine, including uh, mental health, right? So we don't even treat our mental health. We have a we have a mental health crisis in this country, which shows itself in high suicide rates, the mass shootings, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, um, obesity. People are are numbing out or dealing with the men, whatever mental health issues or childhood trauma through all of these substances. Um, you can numb out with anything. You can numb out with video games. You can numb out with porn. You can numb out with watching sports. You can numb out with working out. You can numb out with a, 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 a lot of things. So um, when you look at it in, in a country that could, we could have free health care in this country. We could have free college. Again, those two things have been in Western Europe for 70 years. So if you had free health care, you weren't worried about going bankrupt because if you got sick, and you had a free public colleges and universities. You want to go to some fancy college? Okay. Yale, Oxford, whatever. Okay, maybe you have to come up with the money then. But just like I can go to my state college for free and get a good, decent, solid education. Well, then, but the bootstraps thing would work. Like, dude, who are giving free health care? You, everybody in America, regardless of ethnicity, has access to good schools. So now it is on you to work hard. But that's not the case because it's not even. I mean, it's not even. I say this all the time. I, you know, there's a kid I've been big brother to since he was seven. He's now like 16, 15, almost 16. And he doesn't, you know, he's done decent for himself and they try to put him in good schools, but he doesn't have the opportunities that my six nieces and nephews have. And my nieces and nephews are not rich. My brothers and sisters are middle class, but they're middle class white people. And I saw the difference. I saw the neighborhoods and the access to the stuff. And it's some decent stuff, but like not. And, you know, his mom worked to the bone. So there's no money for like sports programs and all this. I mean, my nieces and nephews, any recital, any instrument, any sport they wanted. I mean, they were in every sport league and every ballet class and taekwondo. They got access to all of that stuff. You know, I got access to all of that stuff. So now there's some of them are starting to be teenagers in early 20s and they're starting to get out in the world and they have a lot of opportunities because they were born into the situation where there's a lot of opportunities. And those opportunities are not provided for every American and they should be because we're the richest country ever. So great, great question. Great discussion. Um,